The Green Frogs, a Korean folktale retold by Yumi Hio. To my wonderful husband, Stephen. Long, long ago, when tigers still smoked pipes, two green frogs lived with their mother in a lotus pond. The green frogs loved their mother, but they never obeyed her and always did the opposite of what she told them to do. When spring arrived at the pond, Mother Frog woke her sons. Rise and shine, spring is here, she said. They grumpily pulled their blankets over their heads and wiggled their toes. I know how to get them up, Mother Frog thought. She went to the kitchen and cooked a pot of duckweed soup, her son's favorite breakfast. Sure enough, the green frogs smelled the delicious soup and in three jumps they were in the kitchen. Please sit down and eat, she said. Instead, the green frogs giggled and hopped around with their spoons. Well then, don't eat, said Mother Frog. Right away, the green frogs squatted down and gobbled up their soup. It was a messy breakfast. Mother Frog handed each of her sons a wet cloth and a broom. Now let's clean up, she said. But the green frogs tied the wet clothes around their heads and jumped up and down on the chairs, leaving footprints all over the kitchen. When Mother Frog finished cleaning up after her son, she was tired. All she wanted to do was sit in the tall grass and read her book. The green frogs were hopping around chasing flies. Please be quiet so I can read, she said. Right away, the green frogs began to croak loudly. Go gay, go gay, go gay. That's not the right way to croak, said Mother Frog. We should have a croaking lesson. She opened her mouth wide and croaked. Gay go, gay go, gay go. But when it's their turn, the green frogs again said it backwards. Go gay, go gay, go gay. Mother Frog sighed. Mother Frog picked up her book and hopped back to the house. I won't say another word, she thought, but she couldn't help calling out to her sons. Don't get dirty. No sooner did the words leave her mouth than the green frogs jumped into the muddy end of the pond. They had a great mud fight. Mother Frog shook her head. So that is the way the wet it went through many springs and summers, many falls and winters. Whatever their mother said, the green frogs would just do the opposite. When Mother Frog was very old and sick, she knew she would die soon. She wanted to be buried on a sunny side of the hill. She told her sons, please bury me in the shade by the stream. After the Mother Frog died, her sons were very sorry they had not listened to her. They decided to obey her this one last time. The green frogs buried her by the stream. That night, it began to rain. It rained for many days and nights, and the stream overflowed its banks. The green frogs began to worry that their mother's grave would wash away. They went out to the stream and cried, Gay ghoul, gay ghoul, gay ghoul. And they begged the stream, Please don't wash our mother's grave away. Please don't wash our mother's grave away. And ever since then, whenever it rains, green frogs sit by the streams and cry out, Gay ghoul, gay ghoul, gay ghoul. And in Korea, children who don't listen to their mothers are called chung, gay or green frogs. <laughs>